So hello everyone, we're at Titanic Brewery again, this time at the sample room, and we've managed to track down, which is no uh, easy task, uh, Will, Will, our head brewer. Hi hello. Will, you all right? I'm very good, thank you. How's things? Good, yeah, keeping well, very busy. Yeah, so what's happening behind the door? We're just in front of the brewery here. How are the team doing? It's, we're now in the middle of November. What's it like at the brewery? I understand you're double brewing now. Yes, yeah, we're double brewing, which means uh, earlier starts, so later finishes. Just trying to make sure we've got enough beer ready for Christmas, uh, getting all the in stock, yeah. bottles, all the casks, etc. And, it, and is it all going to plan? Are you uh, where you want to be? I know you've launched the Plum Port at Grand Reserve yep. recently. I know that's going like hot cakes. Yes, everything's going to plan. We're yeah. uh, on track at the moment. Yeah. Hopefully December doesn't uh, yeah. get in the way, but we'll see. Will that, how long will that in, uh, well, forecast to last for? Is it going to go right the way through to Christmas or to Christmas? The, the Grand Port, Reserve. The Grand Reserve, yeah. Yeah, we're going to keep brewing as, as long as we can, uh, and we're, yep. but when it's gone, it's gone, so make sure you get it. Yeah, well watch this space. For anybody who, uh, who doesn't know, our Plum Porter Grand Reserve, uh, we're doing a, high, a variety of uh, sizes. They're all available on the website, titanicbrewery.co.uk. This particular one is the 330ml, uh, which is very popular. There's a 75cl, which has uh, the port-infused element as well. They're both selling really well. But don't wait, uh, they're obviously great gifts as well, so they're, and they're really selling uh, very well. So, uh, and just talk to us about the team and how it's working double brewing. You were saying you have to do, do, do you know, early mornings, late nights, and is yeah. that the way it always is at this time of year, November? Yeah, yeah. November's always the busiest month for us. Surprisingly, it's not December, it's November, we're getting ready for December. Yeah. Um, and we're finally employing a fifth member of production as well. Great. Uh, who will be joining us on the 1st of December. Um, okay, just, just after like, the rush. Just after the rush, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, back to how it was pre COVID finally. The fifth man was back because we did a five before and now we do again. Right. And does it feel like now after COVID we're back to normal with, from a brewing perspective? Or? From production, yeah. I understand the pubs are still quieter, but we've picked up um, a lot of business in the packaging stuff, in the, um, the pub boxes, in the online trade, and in supermarkets. So that's filled the void that the pubs have given us. So right. When the pubs are all back to full capacity, uh, we're going to be very, very busy. Yeah, so they're just taking different containers, if you like, so it's more, yeah. more, more off trade than perhaps free on trade. Yeah, exactly. Good stuff. Uh, now, we mustn't uh, have you here without talking about your newest beer, Wreckage. Yes. 7.2%, uh, that sounds strong. It is, yeah, it is <laughs> Can strong. you talk us a little bit about Wreckage and what, what its background is and how it's brewed? Uh, to me, it is just a, a strong traditional British beer, yep. um, full of crystal malt, hence all the, the richness and the, the, the fruitcake flavours that you get. Right. Um, it's packed full, maybe twice as much crystal malt as you put in Smith's. Right. So really full of it, and it gives you that real depth of flavour. Not too heavy on the hops, because you've got to balance it out with all that uh, alcohol. So the, alcohol, the sweetness from the malt makes it taste not as strong as 7.2. So right. Careful. Right. Can we have a look at it? Yes, uh, absolutely. I've got the bottle. It's available in our pubs uh, on as a cask ale and 330ml uh, bottles on the web and in our brewery shop. So yeah, I mean Keith was saying the other day it's one to, to sip and not sup. Would you, uh, yeah. would you agree? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So um, how long okay. is that going to be available for? How's, how's it taste? Make me feel. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, sorry, I had to. Um, um, it's available uh, until it's uh, sold out. So you're not going to brew again? Nope, we've brewed it. Uh, it's not coming again. So it's a so, one off? Yes, so when it's gone, it is gone genuinely. So right. let's get it quick. So that one probably won't last but all the way no, through December. I can't see it lasting. Right. If it's gone quick enough, we might do it again, but you never know. Right. Can't, right. can't predict that this far out. Yeah, great. All right. So look out for wreckage, everyone. Um, as I say, uh, website, uh, our pubs, our brewery shop, uh, and some free trade. Um, but looking ahead, just finally, well, where do you see the new year, 2022? Have you got some new brews in mind as well? We do. Anything you can talk about at this stage? Yes, yeah, we have a new, um, we have a new IPA on the cards. Okay. The, uh, the pandemic got in the way of previous right. launch. This was meant to be January last year. Right. We obviously saw the pandemic coming, it was in planning, it was meant to be launched around March, lockdown hit, no chance. Um, so it's going to go into our, mainly into our keg range to fill a, a void in the stronger pale category in the IPAs. 
but we will uh, we're still in discussion about what uh, what packages put it all in. Right. Whether we do can or cask, uh, we'll see. Yeah, but IPA definitely. Right. And probably a return of some seasonal beers. Oh, okay. Um, in in light of the pubs getting hopefully back to full busyness, we will yeah. be doing the. Maybe not the same as what they were before, but right. if you remember Nine Dogs and Kiwi Fleet, Right and Forgotten Gold, Right yeah. FDA, yeah. all those ones, uh, either some of them or new ones, will be returning. Right, so lots going on. Yeah, brilliant. So it looks like uh, 2022 has got a, a lot in store. I hope so. Well, what we'll do is keep you updated. Um, we'll, as we, we know the plans more specifically, we'll give you updates on Facebook. Um, but, well, if it's okay, we'll come back to you after Christmas perhaps and then just yes, see what, see how the query looks I'm then. Way more tired than this. Yeah. <laughs> when you've had a rest yeah. and uh, and get another update. Good. Thanks Will, That's really good. appreciate it. No Thanks. Worries.